This is about the playbook creation. In our composite design, we have draped all the plies, so we have a flat pattern for all the plies. If we now look at the template file before we create the playbook, you'll see that there are three views defined plus a table with parameters. In this 3D view, we have an orientation that we created inside the composite environment called Plybook. We have the model display on no hidden. Let's change that to shading. And this is a section view. We're using the cross section name, default section name one in the orientation front. For model display, we're using show background plies because we do not only want to see the active ply in the section, but also all the plies that come before it. And here is the flat ply. Let's now create a new drawing. And select the template or in this case the one we just changed. As you can see there are now several plybook templates available with the installation. And in only a few seconds the system will use the template to populate each sheet with the respective ply information. 3D view with the highlighted ply because the first ply was a full ply it will look like this the section the flat and the table with the properties and as you can see we're seeing all plies that are added not only the active ply once the ply book has been created it is a drawing like any other drawing in Creo. We can redefine this view and maybe choose not to show the background plies. In that case, we would only see the active ply. Let's leave it as it was. So we now have a drawing file with one sheet per ply showing all the information. You can, of course, also add a ply view and a flat ply view manually. I can pick anywhere on my drawing, in any drawing. I just need to load the part with the composite feature. I need to choose the active ply. And for the rest, it's just a normal drawing view. You can also insert a ply book. So in any drawing, also in this drawing, I could insert some more plies, maybe ply one to five. Use the same template as we're using, and it will now add plies one to five to the end of our ply book. As you can see, this was the end of the ply book. And here I've just added the additional five sheets. We go back to the model for a second and redefine the composite feature. We can take the laminate manager view, add some more columns if we want to, then save it to a CSV file. we now go back to the drawing, we can add a sheet, and maybe move that sheet to be the first sheet, and add a table. We can add a table, 
from the CSV file. and add our laminate list into the drawing. This is the playbook. Thank you.